we can't just flip a switch and make it better. Um, the reality is that we inherited a system, an immigration system that was deeply broken. Vice President Kamala Harris is the border czar, but she says the migrant crisis isn't her fault. All-time high border cross crossings, a new caravan headed north as we speak, all happening under her watch. Fox News contributor Larry Trump joins us now. Larry, great to see you as always. Look, how much longer can they blame your father-in-law when polling shows the American people know what's going on? They see right through this. Yeah, they absolutely do. Um, and it, it's almost laughable, this response from Vice President Kamala Harris that somehow Donald Trump is to blame. Go back to January of this year. You did not see the number of people illegally crossing our southern border like you do now. Actually, under Donald Trump, we had a secure border. Had the Biden-Harris administration left everything alone that Donald Trump had put in place, we would be in a much different position right now. But everyone knows that Joe Biden and Kamala Harris ran on an open borders policy. Remember every single one of the Democrats on stage during the primaries raising their hands for free health care for illegal immigrants? They all but invited people from, that, uh, from all around the world that wanted to come here illegally to come now under this administration. We're now paying reparations of up to $450,000 per person to illegal immigrants. It is absolutely preposterous that this has anything to do with Donald Trump if they wanted to fix it. And Kamala Harris, I'll give you some advice. The, flip, the, the switch you need to flip is to go back to the Trump era policies because those were actually working. So no one buys this. I don't know who gave her the advice to use this as her you know, tactic to get out of this question, but probably the wrong person to blame when Donald Trump had one of the most secure borders and we now have one of the most poorest. Yeah, and you look at the polling, Laura, and it, in one of the areas where President Biden polls the lowest is on the immigration issue. So it's a, a wonder why he hasn't um, changed his stance because stance it's hurting him politically. We also want to get to uh, President Biden had this very long three and a half hour conversation with Chinese President Xi Jinping on Monday. And apparently the president didn't ask him about the origins of COVID. Here's Jen Psaki on that front. Listen. Did he ask President Xi to cooperate specifically with this U.S. intel agency led investigation into the origins of COVID? Peter, it's clear that that's what we want. That's what we've been pressing on. Yeah, it's clear that that's what they want, but um, it doesn't sound like they had an in-depth conversation about it at all, despite the fact that hundreds and thousands of Americans have died. Uh, what's your reaction on that front? I mean, is it clear? I think you have to be very specific when you want something from someone like the leader of China. And the, the fact that Joe Biden apparently did not even talk about the thing that has upended everyone's lives, not just in America, but all around the world, something that we, we are still continuing to feel the impact of. Life is not yet totally back to normal for anyone anywhere, and it probably won't be for a very long time if it ever does get back there. I mean, it's terrible, but it's not surprising. We know that China has been very lucrative for the Biden family. We knew back during the campaign, and we warned everyone about this, that Joe Biden would be soft on China, that he would not hold Pre President Xi uh, accountable for anything. You look at the difference, by the way, between how Donald Trump dealt with uh, China and the way that Joe Biden deals with China. They are light years apart. Heart. They do not fear Joe Biden uh, at all. And so, you know, it's not surprising that he is not pressing them on anything, yeah. but it is terrible and very upsetting as an American to see this. Lara Trump, have a great weekend. We appreciate you getting up with us and talking to our viewers as you often do on Fridays. Thanks, Lara. You're the and best. Speaking Hi, everyone. I'm Brian Kilmeade. I want you to do me a favor. I want you to click to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page. This is the only way that I know for sure that you're not going to miss any great commentary, any great news bites, any great interviews coming your way on Fox. You can get it all here on YouTube. So subscribe right now.